Hello, I see my face in there. In this video, I'm gonna show you four. Yoda, pay attention, man. I'm gonna show you four different ways to get a blurry background with the camera that you have by directly and indirectly impacting depth of field for either photo or video. Okay, so when we talk about depth of field, we're actually talking about what's in focus versus what's not in focus for an image or video. Now, technically, your camera can only focus sharply at one point or plane or distance from the camera at a time. This is essentially where the rays of light from a lens converge to form a clear and sharply defined image. And therefore, the further something is away from the plane of focus, the more blurry it becomes. But there also exists kind of a transition zone or range of acceptable sharpness of an image that will also appear to be in focus. A small zone or range of focus is known as having shallow depth of field, where the transition from sharp to blurry is abrupt. And a large zone or range of focus is known as having deep depth of field, where the transition from sharp to blurry is much more gradual. Now let's get to getting blurry. All right, so the first way to make the background of an image or video more blurry is to move the camera closer to the subject. When you do this, it changes the angle at which the rays converge, which decreases the depth of field or range of acceptable sharpness, ultimately making the background more blurry. So if you notice in the first picture, I was about 10 feet away from Yoda and there's still plenty of detail in the background. When I moved to about five feet away from the background, it started to get a little bit blurry, but when I got really close, that's when the background was for sure the most blurry. Now, as you probably noticed that when you move the camera closer to the subject, you also change the angle of view from a wide shot to more of a narrow or close up shot. So is there a way to get a blurrier background, but also keep the same angle of view? Yes, that's where the second method comes in which is to increase the distance between the subject and the background this time. When you do this, it doesn't actually change your depth of field, but it allows the light rays to separate more, and the further they are apart, the more blur you get. To show this, I took the first picture with Yoda right against the wall, then moved Yoda about five feet off the wall, making sure to keep the same distance between the camera and Yoda to maintain the same angle of view this time. And then for the third picture, when I moved Yoda about 10 feet away from the wall, you can clearly see that background separation has a big impact on blur. On a side note, if you don't have any more room to back up, then try changing your shooting angle instead. Instead of shooting straight at the wall, try shooting from a lower angle or even from the side to help create more depth. The third way to get a blurrier background is to increase the focal length of your lens, either by zooming in, if you have a zoom lens, or by changing to a different lens that has a greater focal length. The focal length of a lens is measured in millimeters, where the smaller the number, the wider the angle of view, or more zoomed out it looks. And the larger the millimeters, the more narrow the angle of view, or more zoomed in it looks. To show how focal length affects background blur and compression, I actually did four different tests this time. For the first test, I just took a wide shot at 18 millimeters on the kit lens, and then I zoomed in to 55. And as you can see, the background is more blurry when I'm more zoomed in. But to compare them properly, I took two more photos at the same focal lengths, this time making sure to reframe to get a similar angle of view as well. Look at how much closer the wall in the background looks to Yoda in the 55 millimeter photo compared to how far away it looks in the 18 millimeter photo. This is known as image compression. After that, I decided to do the exact same steps to compare a 35 millimeter prime to a 50 millimeter prime and a 100 millimeter prime lens. And if we look at all three photos side by side, the 100 millimeter definitely has more blur. But when we reframe to get a similar angle of view for all three, we realize that it's not really the blur that's affected, but rather the image compression. The last, but surely not least way to affect background blur is by adjusting your aperture. Aperture is the opening in the lens that allows light to reach the camera sensor and is displayed on your camera in f-stops. The lower the number, the wider the aperture, or more importantly in this case, the wider the pupil diameter, which means a shallower depth of field. The higher the number, the smaller the aperture, or in this case, a smaller pupil diameter, which means a deeper depth of field. For these tests, I took three shots again. The first photo was taken at f10, the second at f5.6, and the third at f1.8. And when we compare them side by side, we notice that the lower the aperture, the blurrier the background. 
Just remember that your aperture is actually controlled by your lens though and not your camera. So if you're wanting to get the blur that I got at f1.8 or even lower, then you're going to have to pony up for a faster lens that can go to a lower aperture. Now, technically there is a fifth way to get a blurrier background, but that requires you to get a new camera with a larger sensor. And that's a whole different story for another time and another video. But in the meantime, make sure to do these four things. Make sure to get closer to your subject, further away from the background, lower your aperture, apparently give the finger to yourself, and zoom in or get a longer lens. And that's it. That's how you can get a blurrier background. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time. What are you doing over there? I'm Yoda. Yeah, you're with Yoda? Yeah. Yeah? And Dad. What? What are you going to do? You can try and take a selfie instead? You already did that video. Oh. Oh, good move. What okay. do you got there? What picture do you got there? Hmm. Yoda. That's Yoda? Yeah.